All right, so first things first, we need to get Push Standalone connected to Ableton Live. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now on the left hand side in your browser menu, you should have Push. So this is where you can access your files stored on Push. And what we want to do is hit this connect button here. If we push connect. And it says enter the code shown on your push here. I'll show you what that looks like on push. So we've got a number here, it's 022519. So if I type that in here, connect. Okay, that means that push is now connected and I can access my projects. And uh, I've got this user library here. And this is basically where you can drag and drop your devices, Max for Live stuff, any presets that you've got. And Fors have released an update for Kit to make it compatible with the uh, Push 3. So if you own Kit, you'll have been sent out uh, an email with uh, download instructions. And this is this is kind of what, or this is what it looks like here. So you'll have this page. All you do is download. Okay, that goes to your download folder on a Mac, wherever it goes on Windows. And this is my downloads folder. I'll just unzip that and get rid of the zip file. And you've got here, this is all your kit devices. Okay, so we've got box, dot, eagle, hue, jog, lux, and pop. So what you do is you find the original place that your original kit Max for Live devices are stored on your computer. So I've got a folder, it's within Ableton user library and I, it's under Max devices. Okay, so I go to kit and all we're gonna do is select all from the new download, drag them in to this folder and we want to replace replace uh, apply to all and replace so all that does is overwrites the previous kit device that we had and replaces it with the new updated ones and it's as simple as that so next what we want to do is drag our devices onto push so uh, like i said before in push here you can you've got all your presets everything in here so it is a case of so i've got my max devices like a quick access folder in places here. I can go to kit now, drag and drop that into push and I'll just drag it onto the preset. So there you go, you can see it now shows up within my push and I can do that for any other ones. Okay, so I've dragged a load of Max for Live devices onto push. Now I'm gonna get in and test them out. So here we are on Push 3 standalone. First of all, I'm going to I'm going to open up just a, an Ableton device. So what I'll do, I'll go to Instruments and I'll load on the new Drift synth. So I'll just put on any old preset. So far things been a little bit buggy. <laughs> so everything loaded okay. That's a stock um, Ableton. Sorry. Yeah, okay, right. So I'm, what I'm going to do is try and load on one of the Macs for Live devices. There's various ways you can do this. So I can go to Macs for Live here, Macs Instrument. And so what I'll do, I'll try this the chiral device from Force first. I'll try this one. I'll just load the device up. Okay. As you can see, everything is working okay here. So we've got full sort of control over this here. So everything's working as it should. The poly, I'll try another Max device. I'll just load the stock presets. Uh... Yep, everything's working as it should here. Now I will try 
going in from, so it'll be under user library and presets. So this is the devices that are just you just saw me loading in on Ableton Live. So I'll try doublet. Okay, try that. Currently no sound on this. This has kind of been the experience so far. A little bit hit and miss so far. I'll, I'll try something from the kit device. So try this pop. And this is working, but as you can see, none of the parameters are showing up when you go in this way. And this is what I've been coming up against so far. So we'll try the device pop, which is from Fors. Try this, load it this way. Right, now we've got full, full control over it. And what if I try and add another device? Uh, Max for live, so I know that box is the reverb from from fours. Let's try this. Yep, everything working as it should. Let us swap that out for Ego, isn't it? Their delay. Let's try Ego. Okay. Yep. Yep, everything working as it should there. So what I'll do is I'll We'll open up another MIDI track here, the Palmas device, which is like a, it's a clap device, which is really cool. You can see there's no parameters here at all, so the device works, but you don't have any control over it at all. So I'll swap that out. Let's try loading Lux onto this one. Yep, everything working as it should there. Try this pluck device. Right, nothing showing here. So I'll try loading pluck from the Max for Live devices. So Max Instrument, if I can find pluck. There we go. Load it from here this time. No, still nothing. If I go back to this device and I try and switch out that ego delay, then I'll use the other reverb from Fours, which was called ROM, I believe. Uh, there we go. ROM. Load that on. Right. Nothing, nothing there. Let's just try something completely different. Let's try this bass device. Load this up. Right. So everything working as it should there. And Let's try and switch that out. Let's try something else. What about these drum synth? I'll try this drum synth kit. Right, not getting anything at the moment. No, nothing on there. What about this Max device vocalese? Try this. Again, the device works, but no parameter control. Let's try this multi. It loads up, but again, no parameter control. So I would imagine over the coming months that more devices will become available on push and you'll get the parameter controls. Whereas very early days at the moment, whatever, even these, like the drum synth kick, which was a max device, it was like, yeah. You get full control over that, which is, which is great. So what I'll do here is I'll load up this just a uh, wavetable. Okay, if I want to add another device, uh, let's go for audio effects. LFO, okay. So if we add LFO. So at the moment we don't have the ability to map the LFO to any sort of parameters as we would be able to within live. So there's not 
not a whole lot we can do with that at the moment. So that's just a brief sort of overview of where we are at this moment in time with Macs for Live devices on the Push 3 standalone. Thanks again for watching, it's much appreciated. And if you give the video a like and subscribe, that would be great. Thank you very much.